Meena here, extending a very warm welcome to my channel, Grow Joyfully. We are traveling the journey of doing vermicomposting at home in urban context in a very tiny scale. We are nearing harvesting now. Let's look at what we have seen so far. We learnt about the worm bin, the bedding and worms. We looked at the guidelines to follow when we add greens to the diet of the worms. We also saw how to feed the worms with uh, greens and how to add the top up uh, bedding. And before we start the harvest, we also looked at the guidelines to follow and the observations that we make on the bedding material. In this video, we are going to look at how to harvest the black gold using two techniques, vertical and horizontal migration by the worms. There are many ways of uh, harvesting the vermicompost and the worms. And every time you harvest, you need to take two factors into account. For every batch, how much time do you have? And uh, secondly, do you wish to have uh, the worms doing all the work with respect to harvesting? Or would you like to put your hands and would you like to do it yourself? I call this as a joyful migration because uh, worms move on their own, on their own volition. Uh, towards something that they love. So we make new bedding which is one week old made available to them and we also toss in some greens that they love like uh, avocados or watermelon rinse etc. And uh, worms will shift from the old bedding to the new bedding. There are two flavors of uh, joyful migration. One is called as the horizontal migration. Here you imagine the bin to consist of two parts. So you shift the contents of uh, the bin entirely to one side, one half. And the other half you fill up with new bedding and also put in some attractive feed. Close the bin, wait for one or two weeks. Most of the worms, definitely the adult worms, will migrate from the old bedding to the new bedding. And after that, the old bedding will predominantly be your uh, castings, some undigested brown matter and cocoons. The second flavor is called vertical migration. Here you have a new bin with the new bedding and some greens stacked or kept on top of our current bin. Keep both the bins closed and leave it for one or two weeks. The worms now move upward from the bottommost bin to the top bin. The bottom bin will then consist of the vermicompost and the cocoons. Now migration in both the techniques is usually never 100%. You will still have uh, some stubborn uh, worms uh, still remaining in the uh, old bedding material. You need to remove them manually. There could also be some tiny tots which may, you may have to remove manually. Today is uh, 5th June 2021 and I am opening the bin and I am checking. The moisture level is okay and it's indeed fascinating to see that uh, it's about 90% of the browns gone. A few leaves is what I can see. Absolutely no trace of uh, greens uh, anywhere. They have gobbled it up fully. Of course there are big twigs like this. They can't uh, eat it, but uh, this is providing the necessary aeration inside the bin. Okay. There are many ways of uh, doing the harvest. I can let this dry and I can actually manually uh, pick up the worms. Then I need to do the work. There is another technique by which you can make worms do the work. So you can provide a, a horizontal partition like this. Shift everything this side. This bin is a little small for that. And put uh, fresh material here, fresh bedding with a little bit of greens like uh, watermelon greens which they love. Then slowly they all will shift this side and uh, you can harvest the vermicompost on this side. But uh, this bin is a little small. If you have a rectangular bin, uh, this kind of a migration as we call it, horizontal migration will work very well. Uh, since my bin is kind of 
circular i am going to try upward migration okay how does this work usually you have two bins one stacked on top of the other and uh, when this is 90% of the bedding is gone uh, the second bin is kept with fresh bedding and the worms will move okay now i don't have a container which is going to sit on top of it and uh, for them to move also it's going to take a long time so i'm going to show you a very easy shortcut that i think will work very well a container like this which has got uh, holes uh, it can even be a bigger one but during the lockdown period i'm not getting something very big and you fill this with a uh, fresh bedding material when i say fresh bedding material remember it should always be one week old so uh, and keep it and put some uh, watermelon drills also at top and like a bait so the and keep it exactly on the surface of the bin and the worms will slowly move into this container so every 3 days you can check and then you can take it and put it into the uh, new bin that you have this is the bedding material that i had soaked one week back the same combination dry leaves cardboard shreddings newspapers and ganaji worm dust and i just took a seam you can take a look at the seam which has got the uh, holes big enough quite a lot of holes not like the other one which had only a few holes quite a lot of holes this is just a normal seam and uh, i'm just going to keep it here this is all i have at home right now and i'm going to manage with that if you have a bigger one probably that would help but i'm really not worried because there are so many holes at the bottom here and uh, there is a lot of interesting stuff here for the worms because they don't like to live with their poop predominantly so i definitely expect at least the adult worms uh, to come to the surface to use the holes and then start living here and to give them a bait in terms of greens uh, usually we give watermelon because we know for sure they love watermelon but today i don't have watermelon so it is mango season in india so i am going to keep some mangoes here mango rinds here so let me just keep it here you can see that i am not even cutting it into smaller pieces so i am going to see how they like this okay and just cover this it's a very practical uh, way of doing it very easy way of doing it and uh, every 2 3 days you can take a look at it see how the worms have gone inside and then you can put it into the bin uh the new bin in which you keep the one week old uh, bedding material and what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to use that same old uh, material i'm going to put it here so that uh, it covers and let's see how vertical migration happens today is uh, 10th june and uh, i'm going to open the bin Predominantly, I am going to show you how the migration is happening. Take a look here. You can see a lot of castings here, which itself is an indication that quite a few worms have moved in. So, I just have to remove this and show you. See here, it is a combination of big and small juvenile worms, tiny toads. All of them seem to be interested in. what is here okay i did one more thing this was a bag in which i got onion and uh, since there was space i put this also uh, this is like a nylon bag you can see the worms uh, trying to move in this had holes so i thought why not try this also uh, you can see here that there are uh, castings here also so there's a lot of lot of worms have moved in here as well now it is not even one week so it is not fair to expect a lot of worms to move in quickly so i will wait i will not remove this right now and you can see the amount of castings increasing i'm just quickly show you we have to wait for some more 
long time because uh, it's not even one week since we kept uh, these two containers. What I'll do is uh, instead of uh, harvesting now, I will keep this uh, mix moist. Maybe I'll add a few more uh, veggies uh, which will be very interesting weight for these worms. So more of them come in and uh, I will take it out and uh, look at how many worms have moved in etc after about uh, 4 or 5 days. Next I will also show uh, how to do harvesting when we actively participate at one shot how to do using the pyramid method and I will also show you how to do the scraping from the top uh, regularly. In the next video I will demonstrate how to harvest the vermicompost after vertical migration. I will also demonstrate how to harvest the vermicompost at one shot using the pyramid method or the dump and sort method. Thank you for watching my videos. Have a wonderful day.